All right, guys, it is a beautiful day. I'm at Zipper's Performance in Elk Ridge, Maryland. I'm here because I'm on my way to Ocean City and I had to stop by just getting the bike a checkup, making sure everything's good with it. I recently had some work done on my motorcycle and after that, shortly after that, literally right after that, I got it dynoed and the dyno numbers were down. So I knew something was wrong with the tune. Um, they got everything squared away now and um, they're about to do a dyno pull. I got the wrong Okay guys, so we're in the dyno room. I have Bob here and Adam. And uh, Bob is gonna to explain to you how to uh, do a dyno pool and why he does it the way he does it. There's Adam in the corner. Hey Adam. Hello. There's Bob. Hey, so when we do a dyno pool here at Zippers, we thoroughly warm the engine up. We bring it up to a minimum of 180 degrees engine head temperature. And then we try to keep that temperature within 180 to 215 degrees. When it gets to 215 degrees, we'll turn off the engine, switch power, let it cool off, and then we'll redo our runs again. But that's the temperature range that we target. Okay. Now let me ask you a couple sure. questions. What type of dyno are you using? We're using a DynoJet 250i. 250i. Mm -hmm. And what measurement are you doing in a standard or S A E or we use the accepted standard S A E okay. which typically shows the low lowest power output. Okay. Um, if you compare it with the other other ones in the selection in the graph and we believe that to be the correct one. Now then it is corrected. Yes, that's okay. correct. And you and I've done some research. Guys I've been Googling a little bit. <laughs> this corrected means that it, they're trying to help to be more help, help the dyno be more accurate like if you run it here versus running it in Miami that they will you know it adjusts for the, the weather conditions right, right. That's, right. that's correct okay and it also corrects for the weather conditions of the day for an example um, if you have a storm coming through or the temperature changes through the day you might have a better dyno run in the morning and you're chasing power, you think you're making power, but actually the weather conditions might be changing or you might be losing power. And what that ends up doing is making it so that way everything's even and you know whether you're gaining or losing power. Okay. Weather conditions are very important. What I wanted to add is we, we have two backups here for measuring the weather conditions. Um, we basically use the, the uh, stack data acquisition, acquisition stack from DynaJet, but to verify that this is always correct, we have a, an old school, um, I don't know who it was made by, it used to be a racing computer, they called it, by BG&E Racing Computers, very old, but we have a uh, humidity hydrometer and we have an altimeter, aircraft altimeter, so we use these to basically make sure that these readings are somewhat correct they're in the ballpark. If if we have a strange reading on this, we go back to look at this. And then we have these gauges here as well, which record temperature, barometric pressure, and humidity. This hydrometer, altimeter, and thermometer, uh, the analog set, this is what Dan and Dave used when they were racing, drag racing. They would take this to the track, and when they would get there, they would analyze the conditions and then make changes to the carburation, you know, to suit. Because again, you have tracks that are in low areas, you have tracks in high areas, um, very different uh, track conditions, you know, weather from even one day to the next. So all of this matters very greatly in the tuning and the output of the engine. I want to add something. Here's how old it is. <laughs> this was the computer that they used to use.
112. I don't know if you guys can hear me, the air temperature is 112. By the way, this is all the Thunder Max stuff here. Air fuel ratio. Torque 151 horsepower. I'll take that any day of the week. Bikes making over 150 horsepower that you can travel on. I say that's a pretty good field. You want to add anything, Bob? Where you go? No, actually, no. everything pretty much covered everything. Okay. So everything's working, which is a great thing, and you can go on and have right. fun and enjoy it. All right. Adam, you want to add anything? Keep riding it. Yeah. All right, guys. I'm going to end this video here. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more like it, please, please subscribe. Also, go to Zippers Performance Products. Check out all their cylinder kits for twin cams, Milwaukee 8s, Sportsters. All right, check out ZippersPerformance.com. Also, at ZippersPerformance.com, you can check out the Redshift cams. And um, that's what I have on my bike, a 552. Yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Keep gliding, and as always, have a blessed day.